Hi, everybody. How are you? I hope that you find yourself very well. Welcome to this episode of Old Man After Dark. My name is Sam. What's your name? Where's everybody from? This will be another great Old Man After Dark listening session. This one's going to be especially uh, cool for me because, well... I've been hearing a ton of about um, lingua ignota, but I know exactly zero. I don't know lingua ignota at all. I just know that the name kind of came up. And um, all of a sudden, we're going to be doing three old mans of hers. Pencil's not here with us here right now, Chubby Pencil, but he's sending a, another Lingua Ignota record. And the new album is one that I've been curious about. So I've picked that one up as well. And we're going to do proper old mans of those two. Okay. Um, but given that my back hurts today and I can't really put on a full show, what I thought is, hey, you know what? We got enough album sides to do a full album spin of this. So why don't we do that? We're going to start our journey into uh, hearing and experiencing the music of Lingua Ignota with the album All Bitches Die. This was released on Profound Lore Records. What year is this? That's the part we don't have. We're going to get the title fixed. I wouldn't worry too, too much about it. But um, what am I expecting here? I'm expecting, um, if like again, expectations, right? This is coming from somebody that hasn't heard a single note. I'm expecting a cross between Chelsea Wolfe and uh, Diamanda Galas. And if I get a cross between Chelsea Wolfe and Diamanda Galas, I will be very, very happy. I'm fully expecting this to be completely in my lane the stuff that i love listening to so um and we will be doing the new albums later on also so you can expect those how many of you are already familiar with lingua ignota is it just me who's completely new to this has anybody listened to the new one yet i haven't had a chance yet but like i said it's on its way i ordered it today actually so it will be here next week. I'm going to like it, Roxy says. It's not his jam, but up my alley. For me, I'm expecting crazy dark. And if it's crazy dark, then it's absolutely going to be uh, up my alley. I mean... I guess it's cool that there's a bunch of us that don't know this yet, right? We're going to listen together. Josh Leonard says he's a fan. Josh Leonard, are you a patron, though? Enjoy the show, you know? Never heard of her, Kyle Uber. Good. Well, that makes you and me both. We're going to be listening to it together, and uh, I'm really happy to be listening to it together. Engage the uh, hive mind. Josh Leonard is a patron. You've heard of it, but you haven't heard it. Yeah. That's kind of it. It seems to be the name that's being name dropped that I've seen type of thing. So we're going to see. The 2020 record's supposed to be noisy. I'm looking forward to finding out for myself. We're also getting the second one. So there's a few. Watermelon Man, you are certainly not a patron. You are new here. I'm glad that you're enjoying the show so much to want to participate in our scintillating conversation. That's one of the best parts about this. The conversations are scintillating. Now you can listen for free all you want, but the chat is for patrons because they got to get something for the fact that they're the ones who support the show, right? The community is theirs. They are my employers. I work for them. And so this chat is all for them. And I'd like to welcome you, Watermelon Man, and anybody else who's new to stay in chat. Let us get to know you. Let's talk music. Join chat by becoming a patron for as little as 2 or $5 a month. Patreon.com slash Vinyl Junkies is where you could make that happen. We're at 737. We're 738. You're a newbie, but you're a patron. I'm glad that you're enjoying it, sir. 
as you can see we go in a lot of different directions when it comes to music so lingua ignora are you new to um lingua ignora smolian if you are well it's pretty cool that we're going to get to experience it for the first time together right that's why i get it on vinyl i like creating events around music and to me this is an event we're gonna have a great time all right smoke him if you got him it seems like this will probably be the right record for that will i be getting intensity i hope so i think so most of all i just go and i listen all right so uh side one what's this record called all bitches die dang let's see if the aggression of the music matches the aggression of the title one can only hope smoke him if you got him friends I already like it. Yeah, this is for me. <laughs> oh yeah. Awesome. Happy I'm shrooming right now.
I got goosebumps. This is so the kind of thing I like.
my shrooms, I'm like peak, totally peaking for this right now. It's so awesome. It's like I've been watched at the, like this all out assault on my senses. One that is welcome. Yeah, new hero, man. Lingua Ignoti. Oh, Ignota.
absolutely terrifying. Like just an all-out assault on the senses that could not be more welcome. The vibe that I get very much. I, I, I had said that I was expecting a vibe between Chelsea Wolf and uh, Diamanda Galas. And I got that. I got it. I never expected to throw Burzum into that as well. Holy fuck, man. When she went into black metal, she completely went into black metal. That was amazing. Like, that was fucking amazing. So this is a complete surprise to me. I mean, I can't tell you how much I'm loving it. This is exactly the kind of thing that I dig quite a bit. Um, so the fact that we have another two records coming from Lingua Ignota and we will be listening to them together for the first time. Suddenly making it that much more exciting for me. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to play this one tonight on An Old Man After Dark. Because we have another two, so it's like, you know what, let's prep ourselves. Let's get a sound. And, I mean, yeah, you know, when you're name dropping fucking Diamanda Galas and Mersbau and Burzum and Chelsea Wolf, it's, it's, it's a good thing. I mean, to me, it's a very good thing. Yeah, Sergeant House, uh, this is uh, her first record is, uh, sorry, her last record is coming in. I ordered it just today. Uh, and that's on Sergeant House, which is the same label that Chelsea Wolf is on. But, I mean, the label she was on before were all good. I believe I saw Thrill Jockey. That's an amazing label. Profound Lore. This one's on Profound Lore. It's, I mean, these are great labels. If you like this heavier stuff. Smullion, again, I have not heard the new one. When I get, the new one will be arriving. And when I get it, we're going to do an old man of it. Yeah, uniform, sure. I can absolutely see uniform in there. I love uniform too. So I'm looking super forward to doing side two of this, man. Happy to be uh, sharing this entire thing with nearly a hundred of you. Having a good time? Hope so. Tomorrow. Are you going to be showing up tomorrow afternoon? Muse, old man listens to Black Holes and Revelations. We expect people are going to be uh, digging that. So I invite you to come join us. New folk, if you're listening to the show, hey. You see what we're about? Join the um, conversation. Patreon.com slash Vinyl Junkies. Become patron 738 as we prepare to play sides too. And we'll welcome you on the other side of this. Lingua Ignota. All bitches die. Side B. Prepare. I, I am preparing to be completely slaughtered. Let's go.
surprised I hadn't heard of this earlier. To me, this world is none but evil, and all of us are full of evil one way or another. And whatever we do, we have evil in us, all of us do. Fly in the light!
out of fight, I'm going to die. This guy is going to play with me and play with me, and then he's going to kill me. He's already said he's going to kill me. He's, he's already said he killed other girls. I got to fight. I jumped up real fast, and I spit in his face. And he said, you're a dead bitch. You're dead. And he's wiping his eyes. And I laid down real quick, and I grabbed my bag. And he was starting to come for me for me when I grabbed my bag and threw, whipped my pistol out toward him. And he was coming toward me with his right arm, I believe. And I shot immediately. And I think I shot twice, as fast as I could. Jesus.
Yeah, I've never heard anything like this. I mean, that last one reminds me of Kate Bush now. It's, um... I mean, quite a breath of emotion that's being expressed all within the same song. Look, uh... You, you listen to this and, um... The thought that goes through my head is that this woman should be an artist. That's absolute. This is she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. She's brilliant. I mean, this is brilliant to me, to my ears. As somebody who buys the Amanda Galas and loves that kind of thing, and you know, all the others that I named. This is actually my favorite one of all of them, barring the Amanda Galas. To me, the Amanda Galas, that's the queen of queens. That's the queen of queens. But this here is, uh, got my attention. Like, I know I'm going to be listening to this for the rest of my life. I, this is exactly the kind of music that I enjoy listening to. Like, I would go watch this live in a split second. I've never once had another artist um, give me the same vibe as Diamanda Galas at any point. This is the first time. It rocked my fucking world, man. So, yeah. Um, it's on Profound Lore Records. Get it? Now we know. And it means that I'm looking forward to listening to the other two albums that are going to be coming in. And I hope you guys are going to be hanging out with me doing all of that. All right. I'm glad that you all had... Um, I'm glad that you all decided to spend part of your evening with me. Thank you so very much. Uh, join us tomorrow, and um, we'll do this all over again. Old Man Listens to Muse tomorrow afternoon, and broadcast number 539. Today is 538. We're out. <laughs>